Let's get into this then, chat, shall we? Let's get into this. The dark reality of advertising. I have nothing funny to add to this. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. This video is brought to you by Ground News. Stick around to hear more about the special offer they're providing to the entire Upper Echelon community. All right, today's okay. video is about a topic that most people think is true already. They feel like it okay. has to be true in some capacity, but we never really had any sort of stone cold indication or concrete proof. Everyone watching this probably had the same kind of thought at one point or another in time. But just to be sure, how many of you watching right now had a moment pass by, let's say recently, where the things you talked about privately suddenly showed up as advertisements? It well, can honestly yeah. happen with anything. My <laughs> <Yes. personal anime. laughs> Bro. The the craziest one of this one was when I was at my um best friend's apartment when I was over after I had my freaking um wisdom teeth removed and that that shit was scary. That's a whole different story, man. Uh, after I had my wisdom teeth removed and I stayed at her place, we were talking about lobsters, right? We were talking about lobsters, and like instantly. My Google feed showed me lobsters instantly. So yeah, definitely happens. Note here is that one day I was talking to someone about how they'd been on a hot air balloon ride and said, I've always wanted to do that, but I never have. And then immediately afterwards, I got not one, but... Scared Google is listening? Google is always listening, but you know what? Okay, here, take my info. Who cares? I'm not that interesting, you know? I, I don't care. It, it's personally, it's whatever to me. What the hell ever, right? <laughs> Why lobsters? I think there was an ad about lobsters on the TV while we were watching. I don't remember the topic about lobsters, but we were talking about lobsters. Different advertisements for hot air balloon tours, which I'd never gotten previously. Obviously, that freaked me out. And the common assumption here is they're listening to us. Because after yeah. you talk about something, it very often shows up in the form of advertising. But today, I want to look deeper at why that's actually probably true right now. Or if not right now, which is hard for me to believe, it will be very soon. Now, to be clear, advertising true. itself yeah. is an extremely sophisticated process these days. A great example would be Target, Bro, which had a bit of a scandal scary. in 2022 when it supposedly predicted that a teen was pregnant and subsequently began advertising maternity clothing and other pregnancy products to her before huh? her father had any idea about the pregnancy. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold up, they did what? Extremely sophisticated process these days. A great example would be Target, which had a bit of a scandal in 2022 when it supposedly predicted that a teen was pregnant and subsequently began advertising maternity clothing and other pregnancy products to her before her father had any idea about the pregnancy. But a much more important set of facts in the story are the quotes. Target? How? Target had to put normal ads with it. That actually happened. How? They were on target for the prediction. Who sold the info? Oh. But like, how does she even get... Like... Like, is she getting like ads on Google from Target? Or like, what what kind of Target apps, uh, ads are we talking about? Like, how is she... Like... Never been to a Target. I, I I think that's an American store, right? They we're getting her spending info from Target. But like, no, no, no. How was Target doing the advertising? Did they send her free diapers? Like, how? Yeah. It's like mail, I think. They had such a good algorithm for the targeted ads that they had to change it so it works worse. Oh my god, I think I heard that these ads were sent to them by mail. Um... I heard of a story... Where... I don't exactly remember the context of the story, so maybe if you guys remember the Reddit story, or maybe if this goes on YouTube, if any on the YouTube site remembers it, or like, put it in the comments. But there was, like, this Reddit story where I think the wife was, like, constantly, like, doing, like, searches to, like, uh, for specific, like, w wedding rings. So the husband, well, they weren't married yet, right? They were engaged, I guess. Or maybe pre-engagement even. 
I think that was even pre-engagement. But like, the woman in this uh, scenario kept like making searches on his like phone and PC browser and whatever, so he would like get specific ring ads? So she could get that specific ring that she wanted or something? Something like that. It, 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 it's been already quite a few years since I heard that story, but yeah. My little sister loves visiting Target for random things. It's like an all-in-one grocery store. So you can get uh, um, veggies, but also like a PC at Target. Is that what I'm understanding? Exactly. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, let's continue the video. I got to Target for Target exclusively toys I collect. There's toys and Target exclusively? Target is definitely a feeling rich people's market. Oh, okay. But like feeling rich, not actually being rich. Given by Andrew Pohl, a Target statistician, when speaking to the New York Times. Quote, Poll ran test after test, analyzing the data, and before long, some useful patterns emerged. Lotions, for example. Mm -hmm. Lots of people buy lotion, but one of Poll's colleagues noticed that women on the baby registry were buying larger quantities of unscented lotion around the beginning of their second trimester. Another oh. analyst noted that sometime in the first 20 weeks, pregnant women loaded up on supplements like calcium, Holy magnesium, shit. and zinc. Many shoppers purchased soap and cotton balls, but when someone suddenly starts buying lots of scent-free soap and extra big bags of cotton balls, in addition to hand sanitizers and washcloths, it signals they could be getting close to their delivery date, end quote. Oh my god. There's more, such as an example of how a target could determine with nearly a 90% accuracy rate when the actual due date of a pregnancy would be based on the shopping habits of a customer's unique ID, but the point here is to demonstrate that advertising is extremely well developed when it comes to user prediction and data extrapolation. Just That's to emphasize crazy. that fact here, if you know that a woman is pregnant, you can already advertise a massive number of relevant products to her with far higher success rates than some sort of random shotgun approach and if you can narrow down her due date well, yeah. in particular, you can then refine the mechanism even further. Imagine oh my god, post delivery, that's such... you start Oh my god, literally then just start fucking advertising baby products suddenly. Oh, bruh. Advertising all sorts of knickknacks and other little gadgets to keep the child occupied or silent in their crib. Or maybe you start pushing healthy alternatives to traditional baby formula. It's obviously not perfect, but when you compare that sort of advertising to a standard mechanism of just trying to target 30-something-year-old women, generally speaking, it's quite obviously more effective. I wonder if Target can send me ads for umbrellas if it's about to rain. Oh my god. Oh my god, I mean, if you talk about it, then maybe. But, wow. Which is why large retail companies have entire departments purely dedicated to this kind of research. Honestly, it's a no-brainer. This is the logical usage of data when you have it if your fiscal imperative is to make more money every day compared to what you made yesterday. But what if I told you that the long-suspected, often joked about atmosphere, the one where you say something and then suddenly you get advertisements for that very specific thing everywhere you go because your phone or your TV or your little Amazon Echo Dot in your home is directly listening to you, wasn't just a funny offhanded comment or a vague sense of suspicion. What if I told you it was entirely real? I mean, most people already know that it's real. What do you mean, what if you told us it was actually real? Everyone knows that it's working like this. Did anyone here have any doubts that Google is listening? I never doubted it. I never doubted it. Like, okay, yeah, cool. Thanks, Google. I've thought that for over a decade. Okay, over a decade is crazy. I would say over a decade is crazy, but definitely for like over six years, definitely. Definitely over six, seven years. Say hey Google and it will hear you at any time. That <laughs> well, yes. You would be surprised to know how many people do not know or still have faith. Oof. Oof. Man. I should ask my mom what she thinks. I thought that since about the start of COVID. I, I've thought about that since before COVID. 
I'm a fairly paranoid person. The thing is, I can't escape. Yeah, I can switch to a Linux phone. A Linux phone, but it helps me nothing if the person next to me has an Android. That is true. But I mean, at least it won't be about you then. It will be about the uh, other person who owns the phone. Same with Alexa and Siri, so they listen for those words too. Yeah, right. And like, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, there was like a Siri test, I believe. Where uh, the person would ask a Siri if Siri is tracking their location, and Siri said no, they're not allowed to do that. And then the person would ask Siri, "Where's the uh, nearest uh, McDonald's?" And it literally showed it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. You're not tracking it, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I always suspected that, uh, too. Like, uh, uh, no surprise to me that they are tracking it, right? But uh, still funny. Still funny. I mentioned, like, oh, I want to watch the stream, a YouTuber, when I wake up in the morning. And when I eventually get on my phone, they'll be the first person who pops up on my feed. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like that's... That, that one's very common. Like, that would be a very common appearance. Or occurrence. Rather, occurrence, not appearance. Even Win uh, Windows Cortana does the same thing if you have it enabled on Windows 10. I don't even know if I have Cortana enabled. I I think I got her disabled on my Windows 11. Oh my god, I like it. So my Siri just interrupted your stream because you kept saying Siri, Lamau. Hey, Siri! And prank that man. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? <laughs> Did it? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> it doesn't work for mine because I need to speak with my German uh, talking voice, you know? Hey, Siri. There, now, now she listened. But if I talk in my like normal English talking voice, uh, it doesn't react. What if I told you that major companies, media companies, are now actively promoting or selling that functionality? And what if I told you that they're doing this while trying to hide it from the it public? It didn't do it when you said because it with the accent. listening in on go. everything you say through all of your devices for the purpose of advertising is a cyberpunk dystopian nightmare that makes people very uncomfortable. Speaking of advertising, there's a really interesting situation unfolding right now where Elon Musk deliberately Elon? told advertisers to F off on a public stage, but <laughs> oh, now yeah, he's he did. suing them for boycotting Twitter and refusing <laughs> to advertise there. I think that's kind of hilarious. Unlucky. It's also a perfect example of the value provided that is so funny. by today's video sponsor, which is I mean, Ground what did he News. expect? Ground <laughs> like, bro, what did he expect? <laughs> News provides a media aggregate service, which cuts through bias and provides as much information as possible to you, the readers. Gathering everything in one place is certainly useful with a clear system of marking bias, corporate ownership, and distribution. Uh, isn't that the same the one? For the Elon Musk um, example, we can see just how skewed things actually get. On yeah, the left, this is they the same one. Um, but, 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 rhetoric, she was like, advertising before, war, right? Elon Musk is the bad guy, while on the right, they focus on a shadowy corporate alliance as if advertisers not working with a man who told them to F off on purpose is a free speech issue. Regardless of where you fall on the political spectrum, Ground News provides them, valuable be rude tool. To, if you want money from them, don't be rude to them like that. Exactly. Like, literally, what did Elon expect? <laughs> to understand a hectic media environment doing an what excellent job expect? of avoiding intrinsic bias. They don't push one particular ethos or perspective but they do offer excellent tools for the evaluation of breaking news in a world where most of what you read is designed to have some sort of influence on you. I both use and recommend the service myself, especially the My News Bias feature that they provide, which will outright show you whether or not you are perpetuating an echo chamber for yourself. It's an incredibly valuable thing to be aware of. If you click the link down below in the description oh, so or scan like the QR code uh, right now to sign up, you'll get 40% uh, so, off the Vantage Sorry. Plan. Again, link down below in the description, ground.news slash echelon for 40% off a Vantage Plan I just today. can't get over... Thank you to I just can't get over that his name is pronounced Echelon. It's fucking Echelon to me. Like, Echo. I Like, I see that there's no O here, but it's still, like... My, my dumbass is, like, Echelon. I don't know. For, I, I think the first few times I saw his name, I kept misreading it as Echolon. So to me, he's Echolon. Don't care. Ground News for sponsoring the channel. 
Okay, let's get to it. This right here is Cox Media Group, CMG, which is jointly owned by Cox Enterprises and Apollo Global Management. Now, right. if you head over to what their website, do? you can find this, which is a list of their corporate brands under the same banner. Advertising? And on that list what is something is called Cox Media Group Local Solutions, Medias. which is the advertising arm of the company. Well, Cox Media Group Local Solutions also has their own website, and on this website, there used to be a page titled, It's True, Your Devices Are Listening to You, which referred to what they call active listening, which is an advertising service where your phone, your smart TV, or oh. any other active microphone tech product in your home is used to spy on you, thereby giving them the capability to, quote, That's funny that they openly advertise it, but you know what? <laughs> Good on them, I guess. <laughs> Good on them. Okay, I'll go eat now. Have a good time, chat, Kitsu. You too. Thanks, corrupt the try. Thanks for hanging out. Like, Corona is pronounced differently from how it's spelled, that kind of thing? Yeah, I guess so. A little bit, a little bit. Mercedes has three E's all spelled differently. Mercedes. Mercedes? Mercedes? He's nuts? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> know exactly when someone is in the market for your services in real time, giving you a significant advantage over your competitors, end quote. Now, it's worth noting that this is an archive of the website because after this page ended up making its way into the public eye, briefly, they pulled it offline. My guess is that this page was never meant to even be accessible publicly, at least not yet anyway. But let me just yeah. read a few more paragraphs right now to really emphasize the atmosphere. Quote, with active listening, CMG can now use voice data to target your advertising to the exact people you are looking for. Imagine okay. this. What could it do for your business if you were able to target potential clients or customers <laughs> who are using mean, what terms could it like do? this in their everyday conversations? The car lease is ending in a month. We need to have a plan. We need to get serious about planning for retirement. A minivan would be perfect for us. This AC is on its last leg. Do I see mold on the ceiling? We need a better mortgage rate. End quote. Further down, quote again, we know this sounds like something from the future, but no, we are doesn't. there. We can customize your campaign to listen for any keywords slash talk. <laughs> Bro, they're acting like they're creating this new innovative advertising tool while Google has been doing this forever. <laughs> this is something from the future. Never to be heard of Google out here. Already been existing. Targets relevant to your business. Here is how we do it. And also, lastly, also don't forget about the FBI, man, and your webcam. Don't, don't. We can't forget about the FBI, man, chat. We know what you are thinking. Is this legal? Yes, it is totally legal for phones and devices to listen to you. That's because consumers usually give consent when accepting terms and conditions of software updates or app downloads. End quote. Yeah, okay. that's pretty definitive. Uh, huh? Wait, what is We know what you are thinking. Is this your business? Here is how we do it. And lastly, we know what you are thinking. Is this legal? They openly say... Oh, wait. Okay, okay. I misunderstood that. Oh, my God. I thought they, op I, I thought they openly said that it's illegal. Oh, my God. I'm so cooked. Yes, it is totally legal for phones and devices to listen to you. That's because consumers usually give consent when accepting terms and conditions of software updates or app downloads, end quote. Yeah, that's pretty definitive. I mean, that's exactly why Google is, but like Google and Apple have been listening in on us forever, as well as Windows, man. That's literally why. <laughs> We've already literally given consent. As is the fact that they pulled this offline as soon as anyone began paying attention to it, but more recently, obtained by 404 Media, who do excellent work, by the way, I'll leave a link to their publication down below, the actual pitch deck for this product has been leaked, and yeah, it is precisely what it sounds like. Here's a couple snippets of the pitch deck itself. Quote, Smart devices capture real-time intent data by listening to our conversations. Consumers yes. leave a data trail based on their conversations and online behavior, as well as further down. Now that preparation is done, active listening... They do it even if you reject the terms of service? Do they? You sure? Because I feel like it's like ingrained within the terms of services that you literally cannot reject that the ones that that are literally like there in like your phone updates, you know, like that sort of update. Begins in your target geo 
and buyer behavior is detected across 470 plus different data sources. As qualified consumers are detected, a 360 degree analysis of past behaviors of each potential customer occurs to get an later. accurate timing and placement prediction. With the audience information collected and compartmentalized, an encrypted evergreen audience list. Oh, specific to Windows? I mean, oh. Mm. Mm hmm. I mean, if you turn off um, Cortana, you mean? And they still listen to it then? I guess they would, right? Mm, pretty stupid. Pretty fucking stupid. But what, what are we gonna do? We can't escape. We literally, our lives have literally been digitalized. Only way to escape it is literally throw away all your electronics and move out into the mountains, have no internet, and live a secluded life. Kids phone listening to her for the whole scene. What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> Who is she talking to? This woman is Kitsu! Get her some pills! Get her a therapist! <laughs> Who the heck is Chad and why is she talking to it? <laughs> is created. This campaign list is then uploaded to any major advertising platform. End quote. There it is. The dark reality of advertising is that we live in a world right now where the only question these companies are asking is how to avoid triggering paranoia in their own customers. They're not even asking. Good luck with that. <laughs> the only way to avoid it is by to to not advertise it or like to. Okay, here's two things how to avoid paranoia. First thing would be literally don't tell them. Don't tell them you're doing it. Or like hide it in like an open way, right? Like literally how people are already doing it. Hide it in like your fucking TOS and shit. Just hide it there. Second way. I hope most VTubers use Apple iPhone for face tracking. Yes. Yes. Most of them do. That's true. Because the Apple face tracking is pretty freaking good. I do too. Um, either way, the second way would be doing it convincing uh, the customers that it would be um, only of benefits for them. Like, you will have, like, if, if you talk to someone saying, you're AC and you need a new AC, ads will give you a new AC and the best ACs in your area. Shit like that. Like, literally bring it in as an advantage f for the uh, consumers, in that case. As much as I hate Apple, they do have a good software on their phones. They do. That is true. That is true. I'm not that big of a fan of Apple either. The only reason I have an iPhone is because of VTubing. Asking, how do we make these ads more effective anymore? They're asking, how do we disguise these ads to make them less alarming to the targets? Circling back to the piece about Target the retailer, with statements from statistician Andrew Pohl, quote, If we send someone a catalog and say, congratulations on your first child, and they've never told us they're pregnant, that's going to make some people mm, uncomfortable. That's gonna, we are yeah, very that's gonna be a little bit compliance sus. with all privacy laws. But even if you're following the law, you can do things where people get queasy. Reading on, we started mixing in all these ads for things we knew pregnant women would never buy, so the baby ads looked random. We put an ad for a lawnmower next to diapers. We put a coupon for <laughs> wine glasses next to infant wow. clothes. That way, it looked like all the products were chosen by chance. We found Fair. out that yep. as long as a pregnant woman thinks she hasn't been spied on, she'll use the coupons. She just assumes that everyone else on her block got the same mailer for diapers and cribs. As long as we don't spook her, it works. End quote. It is insane to me <laughs> to think that the, the question has now definitively shifted into... How do we avoid alarming our audience as opposed to how do we make these ads more targeted and successful? Because the dark reality of advertising Why is, it is that crazy? they are so good at doing it now. I, I, f I feel like, <laughs> unfortunately, it's pretty normal. <laughs> like, to me, am I weird? Am I weird that I'm really unfazed by this? Like, I'm so unfazed by this, actually. Like, to me, it's not that big of a deal. We should care more, though. Mm. Maybe. Maybe we should care more. <laughs> but I'm so freaking unfazed by it. It's like, yeah, of course they do. That's, yeah, sure. I don't care. No, you're just jaded. <laughs> God. Which is not normal, but common. Hmm. It isn't a big deal until it's used against us in a negative way. 
That that one I think. I think that's important. Yeah. Because ads, okay, sure. <laughs> I got an ad blocker. I don't get ads. <laughs> so even if you collect your data, oh bro, I don't get ads. <laughs> like even if you are sending out those ads to target me, <laughs> I don't get them. <laughs> I don't fucking see them, so whatever the fuck. <laughs> If Target's analytics are so good, just send some more correct lottery numbers next time I buy from the vending machine so I can win more money to spend. I'd call it good. <laughs> Fair. They have to pull back or they make people paranoid. Like I said earlier, everyone watching this has probably had a moment at one time or another where they felt like something they spoke about was suddenly yeah, shown the to them thing. by Facebook or Amazon or Google or some other online advertising giant. But thanks to a leaked pitch deck from Cox Media Group, CMG, as well as a now archived version of their local solutions website, we can see that the capability of advertising firms to listen in on our direct conversations, sort them by keyword, and target products or services to specific individuals who spoke about something in the private of their own home is a full-blown current reality. On the one hand, that yeah, can obviously be somewhat helpful at certain times, considering the fact that products and services could use that capability to step in and remedy problems. Like if your phone hears you complaining about a leaky or broken faucet and then advertises a plumber for you. But on the other, it's a dystopian cyberpunk nightmare because profit-driven entities are not fixating on how best to use this and help people. They're fixating on how I mean, to extract as much money as possible. And when listening to... Again, it's ads. It's... I don't see it as that big of a deal because in the end it's just used for ads as long as it's used for ads it's whatever to me as long as it's not used against me you know now the issue would arise if it was used against you now that would be problematic it's a data leak that you should care about Uh, what do I understand data leaks? Uh, like, how do I understand data leaks in this situation? There are a lot of them. Like, uh, what's a data leak in, in that scenario? Sorry. This, this is a language barrier thing for me. Sorry. Pizza just appeared first on my YouTube feed. They're listening. <laughs> Damn! Honey Foxy, thanks for the follow. Like, what is leaked in data? Age range, location, spending habits. I mean, is that that bad of a thing if that's leaked? Um, okay, never mind. It's location, sorry. Location is a pretty bad leak. <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally cooked today. I almost skipped over the location, but the location, okay, that's a big one. Like spending, uh, spending habits, whatever, right? A train, whatever, but location, that's a big one. The data they collect due to not being secure can be accessed by malicious actor. Hmm. Like, and if the location is within that, yeah, yeah, that is very bad then. That is very true. Then we should, yeah, 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 yeah. Then, yeah, I get that. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, then the data links are very boring. That is true. Your customers in the private of their everyday lives, that capability goes parabolic. At the end of the day, I can't say with certainty how widespread this advertising technique really is, but I can say that the common atmosphere of, I just talked about that, why am I suddenly getting advertisements for it? Huh, maybe my phone is listening to me, is built on a whole lot more than just common coincidence or conspiracy. It is a real thing. That's it. If you want to support mm, the channel, mm, check out the mm. links down below. A special VPN Detective deal, Techno, the video sponsor, the Crown News, of course, locals and Patreon, or YouTube memberships, and more. But I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching. Question everything, and have a nice night. Overall, informing video, like literally giving us the informing, like literally giving us the 100% that they're actually doing it. Like, I know we're all like, well, of course they're doing it, but so far I've only been always like 99% sure that Google's listening. Now I'm 100% sure. <laughs> now it's 100%. Before I w was like, might be coincidence, but like, you know? Also by uh, knowing just age range and certain habits that can be used to filter you out into a group of hobbyists and then that narrows any search for your person. Mm. So like having 
uh, even like specific ranges could like make you be uh, found more easily by like a malicious person. Okay, oh, I see. I kind of want to throw the listening devices now and have it recommend some wild stuff. Like avocado on my pizza and pineapple on my hamburgers. Wait a minute. You're so cooked. <laughs> You'd be surprised how easy it is to find a person that way. Hmm. I mean... You know women? Women can find people. Like, you tell a, a woman about a person, she will find out anything about that one person within a day. Just telling you. It's, it's a hidden... It's a hidden uh, secret every woman does. Uh, it's a hidden talent that e every woman has. Holy shit. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, YouTubes. Um, that will be that, and I will go and piss.